All right, Jill next. So Avi, I get a little bit pissed off when you throw the entire scientific culture under the bus because some of us have been thinking about and building instruments to find anomalies for a very long time. And I think that um, when we say that we, if we ever are going to announce such a detection, that we require extraordinary evidence we're doing that as a way of differentiating ourselves from the pseudoscience that is so much a part of popular culture with UFOs and, and all kinds of claims of things that people have detected. So um, okay. I, I wouldn't be so hard on the whole culture, Abby. Well, let me explain. To your first point, I'm talking about a factor of, of a thousand in funding. I'm not talking about a factor of two over a decade increase in funding. I'm saying there is a discrepancy by a factor of a thousand in what's, what needs to be the case relative to what is the case of the community that you are talking about. A factor of a thousand is a big factor in funding. And moreover, it's even a bigger factor in bullying because anyone that makes a suggestion in the direction of technological signature is being bullied and ridiculed. I That's don't think really. Wait a second, let, let me finish. Now, my second point is, uh, my second point, which is very important is, in the dark ages, people used to say that the human body should not be dissected. There shouldn't be operations because it has magical powers, because there is a soul. Now think about it. If scientists were to say, we don't want to discuss the human body until there are extraordinary evidence for something. We don't want to discuss it because of all this nonsense being said about the human body. Where would modern medicine be? I say it's a, science has an obligation to focus on problems that are of interest to the public and use the scientific method to resolve them. And rather than say, we need extraordinary evidence and then step on the grass and not allow it to grow, which is currently the case. We need extraordinary evidence, but anyone that mentions this possibility is ridiculed by some uh, blogger that doesn't even write a single paper in a decade. That makes no sense whatsoever. This blogger should first practice science. Well, some how, of us do. No, no, let me finish. Sorry. How, how do dare people that? make statements about scientists that explore these possibilities within the scientific method? That's the acidic culture that I'm talking about. There is an acidic culture that suppresses innovation in the current culture of science. And the best example is SETI because they say we need extraordinary evidence and then they don't let people search for that extraordinary by a factor of a thousand. I'm not talking about a small group of people at Berkeley or at the SETI Institute doing some work that I'm talking about a factor of a thousand increase in your budget, in the budget of the community and a factor of a hundred more people working on it, not at the SETI Institute, but everywhere in every university, this becoming a mainstream subject, just like string theory is, why should we fund searches for dark matter and not for technological civilizations as part of the mainstream? That's my argument. And I find it really surprising that I get opposition from you to that notion. Well, I don't, I, I really don't like the generalization of the whole culture being um, bad, bad mouth. Okay. And yeah, okay. sure, I'd love, our, I'd love our budget to be a thousand times um, okay, so why are you opposing me? Why don't you join me in arguing for a thousand times more budget? But Avi, I've been doing that for 40 years, all right? Fine. We've been arguing. Well, you are arguing with me about the credit of who gets credit for arguing that rather than saying I endorse your view. Why don't you say I endorse your view instead of saying, oh, I've been doing it. Why are you doing it now? No, why do you say that? Why don't you join forces with me and go for it rather than say, Actually, I said it 40 years ago. You are saying it now. I want credit for that. You don't get credit. Who can, like we are trying to promote a common cause. I and mean, you're I arguing with me about credit. I, I just don't understand it. I think the culture as a whole shouldn't be bad mouthed. That's what I'm saying. I think that you're being too 
sweeping in your condemnation. Okay, factor of a thousand is too sweet. Okay, fine. Okay, 